welcome to my new video of 5 dead giver sets in soldier armor. Firstly we will limit test it versus couple Gucci guys, and by couple I mean a lot of Gucci guys, to see how these gears work. Then we will move to the real challenge, how much can I earn with 5 sets of tier 7 dead givers in soldier armor. Always comment it as usual, enjoy! As I said, 5 cheap dead giver sets worth 600k each including cape. This build requires you to use the first Q, Sunder, Dashing W and Bleed Passive. Versus some kiting builds you can swap to Shadow Edge, versus couple Bruisers you can swap to Chain Slash on W. Stalker Hold is the usual go to helmet with dead givers for extra damage and undead cape reveal. Soldier armor for extra tankiness and huge damage boost when stacked. Any leather shoes for refreshing sprint to triple stack Q in less than 3 seconds after the first combo. Martlock cape for extra survivability. Let's go to the limit testing part. Keep an eye on this 6-3 double bladed. I was easily winning fight versus tier 7 dual swords, but used all of my cooldowns when this guy came zooming from behind and chose me as a target instead of nearly dead dual swords. Together with tier 7 bad legs they went full into me, I had no soldier armor unfortunately. But I will let you see how much you can actually destroy 2 tiers higher build. If I had soldier armor, he would be dead. Second part of limit testing was versus Awaken at full 8 triple letter. Stack Qs, I shouldn't use soldier armor here, it's best to use it for the final combo, for E. Boots to quick stack another table Q. Gigapod for his stalker and coming key execute. Now if I kept my soldier armor for his combo, he would be close to that if not dead. We went for round 2. This time I was keeping soldier armor for the final combo, but after he got e twice, he decided to full reset versus tier 7 dead givers. Oh. Now for the third trade we go. I was holding my giga potion for too long, but I was expecting him to bait it and reset, which he didn't. Again, I used soldier armor too early, unfortunately. Look how he nearly died here. Had I had tier higher or keeping my soldier armor for later, he would be dead dead. Well, he resetted his E cooldown, so I decided to kite and let him come to me. Really unfortunate that he procced my Martlock cape here, literally few HP difference. I know he wants to E me, so I pre it with boots and dash to the side. But I used E to gap close and was super low HP, so he just finished me with Stalker Jacket, but damn, this dead givers feels good. Versus 6 3 dead givers, 2 tiers higher. Again, I used Soldier Armor too early as it's much better to use it for the final EWE combo with Stalker Hood. Triple stacked Q to E. Here I used Stalker Hood going for WE execute, but didn't expect my full stack Soldier Armor W to already pop his undead cape. My E would probably kill him here alone. Now just chasing and finishing with E, GG. Let's move to the challenge with final 5 sets. I died with another 5 or 6 before as limit testing part, but still ended with nearly 5 mil profit. Versus tier 7 chill hole. Shadow Edge isn't ideal versus chill levels as you need to dash away from their E, so I kept dash and swapped for dashing Q instead as a gap closer. Dashing away from his E, matching boots, he used W in the same moment I was going for E, lucky for him. But dash came just in time for using still stacked E. Stalker Hood for Assassin Jacket Reveal, waiting with my E for his E. Again, dashing from his E and just finishing the job with Stalker Hood buff. 
versus Tier 7 One Handed Curse stuff. Start stacking Qs and as soon as you used Cultist Cavo I just used my Q to keep stacks on free. Full stack Soldier Armor into E into Stalker Hood into another E to finish the job. Little bit late with Shadow Edge to iframe his E but all is good. <coughs> A few seconds later came this tier 7 Batlex zooming right into me. Full cloth, watch his life disappear. GG. Met this nice 7 3 carving, he had better buff, 3 tiers and 400 IP higher. Well, why not? I was late with swapping my Q so I couldn't dodge his splitting slash. This guy for some reason matched my OC, so now I'm basically fighting a trick carving. Whoa. What? Stacking Q, popping soldier armor early again. <laughs> Boots to start Q stacking faster, got pushed. Triple stacked E into Stalker Hood and another E, but unfortunately overcharge T7 versus overcharge 7 freely cross buff. If he didn't OC or we had same buff, I'm confident I would kill him here. Then I tried to throw hands with another 8 triple adder, but guy fully dipped even if I dismounted on top of him with 5 second cooldowns. Oh, and wasted everything trying to dismount him. Here, tier 7 dual swords team with tier 6 great closet. On tier 7 dead events. Like why? I'm not 8-3 and my set is cheaper than the dual swords set. Well anyway, as I'm fighting versus two players, I swapped Q for faster stacks. As soon as duals popped Hunter Hood, I swapped targets. Now back to the dual swords, as they have higher IP, they have to go first. He popped Merge Kid, so I kite a little bit. Prepared my triple stacks, Stalker Hood, as he was already under 50% HP and double E to finish the job. Corset kited well, so I just looted the duals and wished him a proper goodbye from far away. Versus tier 7 nature stuff with face killer rope. Was expecting him full running away, so swapped to Shadow Edge and dashing Q. Wasn't the best as he fighted back. Again, premature soldier armor ejaculation, keeping my Q stacks for the cost of stun. Faker, what was that? He touched my third Q and now I have to stack again. Sick Shadow Edge, which I knew to hit splitting slashes like this. Triple stacked E. Another Shadow Edge through the wall. Here he popped his face killer up so I waited with my combo knowing I still have Martlo cape which is huge buff. And he watched his HP this up E ear. GG. I was trying to finish Spider for good 5 minutes while 5 trick carving was constantly running into me and then running away when he got his ass clapped. I dashed away leaving him dancing alone with the Spider, triple stacked E to dodge the mob, waited his missed walker jacket to use another E into immediate stalker hood, but Mr. Spider had another plans and carving meanwhile got away from the stalker hood range. Damn. Here I kinda forgot I'm not limit testing already the weapon and my main goal is to earn money. Versus 6 4 7 3 nicely awakened spare. Wasted my boots to close space for no reason. Why is tier 7 hunting 6 4 them? Should have used Gigapod for his Inferno shield instead. As soon as his shield ended, he eat away nicely and then kept space with boots. I had none because of my ADHD, so I turned away. And my ADHD strikes again as I pop boots even I knew he had known. Damn. Damn, these awakened weapons. Again, Inferno Shield even when he is on pure Miss Snapper. Now I knew I had no chance, so at least I tried to impress while dying. Now for the couple chests I got on the way.
versus tier 7 dead givers. He wasn't sure if he wants to fight me, so I acted like I don't want to fight him, so he sticks around. Well, as he had stuck in Q instead of any other wise option, I could use my E to dismount him. Now look what his E does. Now look what my E does. He went full running so I closed the gap with my E and when he got running again I finished with my E knowing he used both of his E's before. Versus crossbow, swapping to shadow edge to dodge every second E of him. Managed to hilariously miss first Shadow Edge, as soon as Guardian Helms ended, I eat him consuming the Sundra stacks. Shoes to restack for finishing double E combo, he used Cleric Rope well here. Martlo Cape here saved him, but I eventually caught up and finished the job. Versus tier 7 dual swords. He wanted to use my cooldowns to his advantage, but managed to only miss his E, so I used boots to catch up and punish him. Didn't immediately W as I was waiting for Hunter Hood, so I just kept sucking him with Q's. He forged soldier armor well, waiting with my E for his E to dodge it. He had his boots earlier, unfortunately, so I used E with only two stacks, allowing him to gain space, but as soon as I got mine, I touched his W and finished it with one last Q. Here I was low HP from mobs and low tier infernal side, and at the worst possible moment, met 8-3 Bloodletter. Another death for me. Now for the best fight I had in these sets in challenge bar. Gucci t raid bad legs in cloth. Change to chain slash for dodging his E's. Boots and W to dodge his E, keeping just my Q stacks through his Pharaoh. Final used soldier armor for the final combo. Didn't want to use here second E as he had boots and I didn't. W to get close, few Qs as soon as he turned away, E into Stalkerhood, Undead Cape Reveal and Q to finish the job, GG. Well, what is the best way to finish the video than me in tier 7 dead givers panicking while fighting 8-3 bear paws? Swapped spell in worst possible timing so I couldn't dodge his E, then watched 5 seconds how my HP is disappearing, wanted to use health potion, instead I was asked if I really want to litter in Abby. He used Mistwalker jacket so I tried to tip while he was slow, then I was fast from speed buff. Well, very close fight I must say. Now for the final loot. With last 5 sets I used for the challenge, I gained slightly over 10 million in loot, which means 7 millions of pure profit. For those who wondering how long I was playing, it was less than 5 hours, so I would say pretty good profit for 600k build. I will show my last death in next clip so you can see how I got at it again after killing T-8 Bedlegs by T-8 Carving, nearly killing him in process too. Mind that it was me playing Dead Givers after two and half years, guys. Also, we are very close to hitting that 3000 subscribers, so if you like my content but are not subscribed yet, please click that button. I spent countless hours editing, the least you can do back is clicking that button to help me reach more players. Hopefully you enjoyed my another lower tier video and also big thanks to my friend Nick Pen for showing me this fun and lethal build for solo mists fun. For next giveaway we will have big one, 8 3 masterpiece soldier boots for around 4 millions plus 7 day premium. To join don't forget to comment your in-game name. 
Also congrats for the next giveaway winner, contact me via Discord and in-game, check description how you can find me on Discord. Thank you all for watching and see you soon again, your noob, Grinder.